Hey there guys, what's up? This is Donna Bells. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. And like I said, we're just going to go ahead and finish up Ghostly Galaxy and hopefully at the end of this, we'll be able to go get that Luigi star that we saw last time in that picture because it takes very little time. So hopefully, you know, I don't take too much time doing this. Okay, and this is the very spooky sprint. And we got the hidden star last time in this level, but this time I'm going to go ahead and do the actual race. Yep. Yes. Hey, you know, these uh, haunted levels have actually got me in the mood for those cereals. I'm like, what are they called? Like, I know one's Booberry. Frankenberry, maybe? Yeah, that sounds right. Uh... And Count Chocula. <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty Mario looks with his rainbow behind him. Yeah, but anyway, I went grocery shopping last night. I couldn't find any of those grocery, like, any of those uh, cereals. I don't know if I'm, like, shopping at the wrong place or if they don't actually sell them this time of year. But I don't know. Not that I'd actually get cereal or anything. I can't really drink a lot of milk anymore, but... I just wanted to see them. Okay, so here we are. Eee, so you're after it too? Well, I have to race me for it. Sure. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good boo voice, but whatever. He's really squeaky. Eee, here we go. Dude, that's my line. I'm the one who says that. Here we go. All right, just have your thingy pointed at one of these stars. Okay, I have this on mute because last time I tried playing this with the, with the like, the delayed sound, it really messed me up. Um, what you want to do here is grab onto these pull stars and try not to pull yourself to every single one. Try to swing yourself more because that's a little bit more faster. Unless you're um, by these pork chop things and you don't want to bounce into them. Because if you, you know, they're bouncy. I don't know why they decided to put pork chops in here, but whatever. I don't know what that has to do with like, I don't know. Okay, and use this as a shortcut, especially if the boo is gaining on you or if uh you know he's ahead of you because trust me it helps all right I'm almost done I'm almost done I'm almost done and you know what you want to have some star bits for this because it's easiest to go in a straight line at least it is for me and you can just blow these two spikes up here and that's all you have to deal with and we're almost done don't stop until it says goal yes all right do not stop until it says goal. Or, you know, if you stop and, like, look back at him, trust me, he can always win at the last second. <laughs> oh, yay. There's our star he promised. Woo! That helmet's more like an outfit, isn't it? It's not, like, just a helmet. His little arms are poking through. But at least he's honest. He may be a ghost. He may have, like, razor-sharp fangs, but he's honest. He gave us our star, so. Cool. All right, and we're just gonna head right back into this galaxy. One more time here, and then we'll go get Luigi. Okay, come on. I wish we really didn't have to do this every single time, like go into the dome and waste time. I wish it were more like uh, Mario 64, just because you could get a few stars at a time and you didn't have to go back outside of the paintings or the pictures. This is Beware of Bouldergeist. That reminds me of a the joke that I found on um, my popsicle stick yesterday. <laughs> it's so stupid. You know how those are really dumb. Uh, mine said, What's a boulder's favorite type of music? Yes. Hard rock. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not super obvious or anything. <laughs> Alright, let's get this rainbow star, I love it. It's pretty pointless. I mean, it, it makes it a lot easier to go through these spiders and to kill this guy right here. Don't have to worry about it. And it also, you don't have to stomp on um, boxers and stuff. This is a bomb boo, and you spin, and he blows stuff up. Like that! Alright. I think the easiest thing to do is lure him over to where you want him to blow stuff up. And there it is. That's the one you want to blow up, the one in the chimney. Ready? 
And before I take off, I oh, dang it. Did you see that box back there? I've never gotten it before because I always spin. <laughs> Oopsie. I think it's probably just like star bits or something. I don't think it's anything special. But... All right, so yeah, I really do love these levels. I think it's because I've always been into like scary stuff. Um, ever since I can remember, like I've always been into scary movies. When I was little, I remember um, my grandpa used to watch Tales of the Crypt late at night when I was supposed to be in bed, and I was ne I've never been good at going to bed early, right? So um, yeah, I'd sneak out of my bedroom and I would go hide behind the couch. And he'd be asleep, right? Because that's that's what guys do. They get in their comfy chair and they sleep, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> they have, like, you know, their big man chair. Well, I would hide behind the couch and I wouldn't let him see me. And I'd sit there and watch Tales of the Crypt while he was sleeping. <laughs> so funny. I told him about that and he's like, Yeah, I, I never noticed that you were there. That's so funny because... You could have seen me. I think it's just because he was sleeping the whole time. Yeah, I've always been into like scary movies and stuff. I don't know why. That's probably why I like Tim Burton so much. Because his movies and stuff are always like real creepy. Really cool. Alright, let me see how I get back there. I said I'm not very um, precise with these sling pod thingies, but you don't have to be too precise. I fall back in here. And get to that one. And... Oh, grab on. Okay, Let's see if I can get through here without bouncing. Nope. And ah! don't hold on to um those uh the pull stars too long because oh wow, I actually landed on this planet because you'll actually fall if you hold on too long. Trust me, it's happened before. Okay, I know I said before that uh the other things are bouncy balls, but this is like. A real bouncy ball. Looks like one of the balls that I used to use for like four square and kickball or whatever. People still play that anymore? <laughs> I always love playing four square. Alright, so here we are. This is be right before the boss battle, so I always, always, always get a life mushroom. Blue Molly, Luma Bot, welcome to the Luma Shop. I can tell you something helpful for 30 star bits. Of course, thank you very much. Which will be life mushroom. I don't know why you would get a one up anyway, because unless you're so afraid that you're gonna die or you keep dying and you don't want to get a game over, but I don't know. Transform! Thank you very much. Let's get going on this guy. Let's kick some uh ass. If this guy doesn't really have an ass, but see what I mean? He's just a head. <laughs> Okay, so this guy's pretty tricky sometimes. Um, and you have to be good at him because later on in the game, you have to get, you have to beat him without getting hurt once. Not even once, actually. Oh. Um, so those rocks that he throws at you, some of them will be black, and those are the ones that you want to focus on because they turn into bombos. You swing and hit him before it hits like another rock or another bombu or the hands that are gonna come up so and ah there we go and he gets unsheathed you're naked and you try to hit him in his um uvula I guess is what it is <laughs> I don't know it's so weird alrighty here's his hands they look all grabby and very uh like he wants to molest me or something. <laughs> All right, and he gives you two bombus. Or yeah, is that what they're called, bombus? Yeah. There we go. Try to hit him before he stomps his hands down. But you can also hit his hands. And if you hit his hands twice, then they will like disappear. So okay, come on. Yeah, there we go. I always try to get close enough to hit him and not his hands because then it goes by quicker. Alright, just watch out for those rocks that he forms. You can always just walk behind him like I just did. Alright, and the yellow ones are actually coins, but I just don't need it yet. So yay! And, ugh. Yeah, the longer you keep Bombu, uh, the longer their tongues get and 
Uh, if you keep them too long, or you hold on to them too long, then they'll explode and hurt you. So, try not to do that. I try to get closer so the the black rocks explode, or they transform into the boo the bomb boos. Closer to him. There we go! We got him! I think he looks better without all those rocks, but, you know. Anybody want another rock joke? I have another one. I just thought of it. Um, because I took geology and my teacher like stupid boring rock jokes okay none of you are gonna get this but what did the metamorphic rock say to the igneous rock dude don't take me for granted because i'm nice <laughs> go look it up dude oh my gosh i don't think i have enough time for luigi i'm sorry i'm gonna have to go do that next time but i promise i promise i will do that next time first thing in the meantime, I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Alright, bye y'all.